Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration where I'm currently finishing off um, biological science and that means I've got a few of these Christmas trees around. <clears throat> so at the moment I'm just waiting for the uh, bots to come along and put these pipes in and I think that might actually be the final bit of the of the whole puzzle. Well, um, we'll have to see how that goes. So along here I've got this whole area is now taken up by the by the biological science. We're making the one, two, three, four different types of data here, and they're all being passed. Eventually, in theory at least, they'll all be passed along these belts up to here, where they can then be converted into the catalogues. Um, there's quite a lot of steps to biological science, as you might remember from the uh, diagrams I keep flashing up. Um, the trickiest part, though, was that there's sort of there's almost a, a loop. Well, it's not quite a loop, fortunately, because I was able to break it. But you need to make these pink beakers of goo first before you can actually make these Christmas tree things uh, that do the genetics research. I... interesting. I've messed up here. This... Ah, that's interesting. I hadn't looked at the outputs properly for this this um, this production cycle. So let's go over and fix that now. Where was it? Uh, here we go. Right, so I knew this machine was taking in the genetics data like that. Um, that's fine, but I didn't realise it was dropping it out on the other side. Now let's put in some. Let's, oh, this is going to be annoying to do without um, uh, without any of this in my inventory. But I'll need to put that there, and then one of those there to link it in, bring it back in. And a belt going down here to loop it round. This is going to be on the outside there. That's, that's handy. It's going to be on the outside. So I can prioritise the right-hand side of this one and that will t take the genetics data from here that's being outputted from here. So how much? Of the, how, do, how do we get on with this? So it takes in it takes in 10 and, produce, and spits 9 of them back out again. Okay, so it's a 10% loss. Um, but we do get... What do we get out of this? Biocultures, which are then used to make the um, bio samples? Biomass. Okay. Right, so I, this this is the <laughs> my um, my diagrams. I tend to put in the I, put, I tend to worry about more about the inputs than I do about the outputs. So when you get this sort of effect here, where I suddenly realise that something is spitting out a load of different things that I didn't realise, and so I um, then realise I've not set the machine up properly to to deal with them. So here we've got um, this is going to be spitting out um, the what are we what are we calling these things? Uh, the biocultures down down this belt that are needed for this step, but then we need to filter out the um, the dead memory cards that go down here, and then the ones that still got useful data on that we pass back around here so they can go back in in again and, and just be passed around the loop. This is producing them impressively quickly. Um, that's that's a lot faster than I was expecting to be honest. This is running really really. So it's a one second crafting time. That's amazing. Uh, compared to absolutely everything else. So, why are other things not working? Well, it's probably because this isn't working properly, because it's got it's not got any of the biocultures, because there's other stuff building up on the on the inputs. So if I just do that, will this run again? Yeah, have this. No, it needs it needs ten of them before it'll run. But when it does, it'll produce ten bio. Oh, there we go, it's running now. And then it's getting filled up with memory cards. So what we want to have here is we want to feed out the biomass. If I can find that. In here? No, I don't know where to look. That one. Uh, that's to come out of that side. And then on this one, we want the. Oh dear, that's feeding the wrong stuff around there as well. <laughs> we need to get that sorted out. Um, genetic data to the left. No, to the right. The other, the other one. <laughs> so let's pick up pick up all of this stuff from here, and then all of it from here as well. go and we need to set an input prior input priority of, of right on that one so it uses these ones up first now let's put any of the stuff this is interested in in there anything this is interested in there and then I've only got these ones left oh I'll take it back there's some more there that's the wrong thing I've selected that isn't shouldn't be biomass it should be bioculture uh, that one okay so if I collect all of this now that you can have that. Uh, I need to pick up this as well. <laughs> okay, I think I think I finally got it. Oh, I won't take that at the I think I finally got this right. So we can put the, now put these onto this belt here. You can have. You still can't. Have, now you can have those. And you can have those. 
right okay that's all all organized now i think so what I, i'm going to need to um put in output belts to get rid of these these memory cards and i think there's some more from somewhere else as well that was spitting them out that i'd forgotten about so i'm, I'm going to need to have a couple of belts in for those and in general this now seems to be sorted so this should now be producing the biocultures we should be getting passed along here are you are you happy yes you're happy what are you waiting for you're waiting for more you're not getting any um oh Okay, let's put this point this belt the correct way. There we go, and now we'll get the memory cards along here as well. Um, that'll run. That's okay. So that's running now. That's good. Why are you not happy? You've just not got enough biomass yet. Oh, there we go. That's that's running. This one that's running as well. Excellent. We should have now at least a little bit of everything along here. There's a combustion data that here comes some of that. Right, so we now have a bit of a... I've not put the cooling fluids in. Okay. I'm going to stop talking about what I haven't done yet because I've clearly got most of this wrong. <laughs> um, no, most of it wrong is an exaggeration. It's, it's, it's working quite well. I just need to put in the, the coolants for the, for the computers here and then we'll have the actual um, uh, catalogues being output. So this, is, this felt like it was a fairly complicated thing to put together and it didn't help that I was forever running out of the... Um, the scaffolding so I end up bringing up another rocket with some more of that in and some wood that I'm using along here to turn into the the bio goo uh, I've nearly run out of that but that's okay because I can then pass some of this biomass back along here to be turned back into more goo so that's going to be that that is going to work fine it's just a sort of a, a few different steps or I can set up a plant to grow wood in space and feed that into here I don't I'm not sure which is better at the moment we'll, we'll see but that produce yeah so that produces the um, the green goo which is used in all kinds of places including here which produces pink goo and you need apparently you need both pink green blue and orange goo for all of this sort of stuff uh, we can then put the green goo into the pink goo into jars and here then we're making this this is actually making it into the um, into, into in, oh this is no miss making it into another type of green goo ah that's a problem there's too many of these memory cards can come around here so I'm going to need to pick up some of these now th this should be okay in theory because there's 90% of the ones that are coming out being 90, 10% of the ones that are coming in are being are being lost in the process. So there should always be fewer down here. But as it is, there's a bit of a, a bit of an overload at the moment. So if I go over here and just pick up a few of them, like this, just to get that running. Now it should be all right. We should always have this this tr this this supply here should get gradually shorter as the um, as the machine pulls more and more in. Um, yeah, so we're make, we're making um, another type of goo here, which is growing into. Plant. I don't know. This is all weird biological stuff. I'm a I'm an electronic engineer. I don't do biology. <laughs> um, but whatever it's doing, it's, it's it's making the four types of science, the four types of data as as required, and then they're being fed down here, as I said. Another thing I've set up along here is this recycling or this cleaning and recycling station here because I real I discovered I was um, accumulating enormous amounts of contaminated um, contaminated scrap and just generally contaminate um, and that was coming from one of the blue science things along here was it this one yes here we go you can see here some of this scrap that's coming out of here has got green goo on it so that counts as contaminated. Um, there you go, that, that one, the contaminated scrap coming out of the conductivity data. Um, before, I didn't realise quite how much that was going to, I was going to make, so I just dumped it straight onto my um, scrap belt, which I think is this one. But it very, very quickly just filled up the container down here at the end, um, that's supposed to be just collecting scrap and, and junk memory cards for them to be recycled up here and turned into landfill. So I've collected all of those. And I've turned the, that belt around and fed it along here because the biological research also produces quite a lot of contaminated scrap from various different stages of it. And so that's all being fed up into this machine. And these three all sort of, they work together in a kind of sort of, some sort of weird teamwork kind of way. So this one will produce um, contaminated, this, this one will, t sorry, takes in contaminated scrap and basically produces, it, it then basically washes it in cosmic water producing clean scrap but also to cut dirty cosmic water and dirty bio sludge um, so the scrap and actually the uranium ore when if, if we ever get any of that is being fed off down down this belt here I'm happy to just shove the uranium ore in that chest for now because there's gonna be such tiny amounts of it I can deal with it later then here we have the contaminated bio sludge being cleaned 
and that turns into contaminated, more contaminated scrap and bio sludge. But it's a very, very small amount of contaminated scrap. So that just gets passed back into this machine by this inserter, which will then eventually pass. So it get, in theory, it can get passed back and forth and back and forth. But it will drop in the amount of it that there is will drop so much each time that eventually that it's 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 a process that should, can carry on working. This one's doing the same with cosmic water. So you wash the cosmic water, you get out contaminated bio sludge, cosmic, more cosmic water and contaminated scrap. So it, it all sort of just feeds around in a circle, essentially. Um, and as long as we don't get end up with too much cosmic water, it should continue working. Unless it's got a yellow, what's yellow? Yeah, so we've got, we have in fact got too much cosmic water. So I think I'm probably going to need to put a tank in and then a limiting condition on the machine that's making the cosmic water, which is down here somewhere. This one. Yeah, so if I stick in a tank somewhere around here and then wire it up to this to a pump here, then we can tell it that we can tell this machine to stop making cosmic water when the when the tank's nearly full. And then there'll always be a bit of space for for this machine to empty into. So I think that's I think that's going to work quite well. Um I mean, you know, it's a famous last words and all that. It probably will fail at some point and fairly soon. But at the moment I think the theory is fairly good. Now, I don't feel like I've properly stress tested any of this yet. I've only just got this sort of starting to tick over. I haven't dealt with some of the outputs yet, like these memory cards here. And that's presumably clogged. Yes, that's clogged this up now. So I need to go in and finish that off. But in general, this is now working. It's now working. Oh, and the coolant over here, of course. But I think things are basically working. I'll, I'll need to come along and have a look at the machines along here and basically decide which ones need extra machines putting in. Because as we can see here, um, there's a massive shortage of, oh, I don't know, whatever these ones are. The ones are the black, these, these black labels. The genetic stuff is fine because that doesn't need much in the way of inputs uh, and spits them out really, really quickly. So that, that's going fine. These, well, I, I don't know. I'll have to, once I've, those inserters are in the wrong place. <laughs> they're waiting for, oh, they're waiting for a third computer at the top. Okay, fair enough. Um. So yeah, I'll need to make sure I get get this reasonably balanced and, and, and working happily. Um, in other news, the purple science is going really well. As you can see, this is backed up all the way to here. The blue science is backed up all the way to the point where it stopped production. So that's great. That's um, just, just full. And I can now start thinking about uh, getting the green science onto that belt as well. So that's going to need another set of these to turn the green science um, cubes into green science cylinders. And I'm going to have them on a flag sticking up this side. And then we can feed all three of them in here on a so I'll have a second belt coming along here. And eventually yeah, we'll have a fourth fourth type on here as well when I do the, the energy science, I think it is. Uh, no, I've, I've done energy. I can't remember what the other one is. Whatever the other one is. Um, so we'll be feeding all four into this these machines and getting out in theory massive quantities of um, massive quantities of uh, the yellow yellow cards for the inputs. So that's gonna make that a lot more efficient. As you can see this is now backed up on the on the blue side um, because we're not doing any research and well we've not got enough along here but you know I um, it's only so fast I can produce this stuff apparently the next step might be to go in and make this system faster perhaps by coming in and putting in more of which one is it of course it's these ones these are the ones that take the um, that require the particle accelerator which is the thing that uses enormous quantities of power so three of these and one of these and two of these is the right ratio i could put in another set of another copy of all of that slightly higher up so another three of these machines another one of these another two of these and that would that would double the throughput but it would of course double the power and my particle accelerator is already the most power hungry thing in the in the entire base even with um the modules in it taking the power power consumption down to um, minus 80 percent of normal so 20 percent of, of normal it's still the most power hungry thing in the entire system um yeah but generally i think that's going quite well i did need to do a little bit of fiddling down on the planet to get things working well here so i've added in i don't know why these haven't built they're definitely covered by robot ports i should be making um assembly machines that's very strange. I'm going to have to have a look into that because I thought I wasn't making enough of the um, scaffold. So I thought, let's put in some more machines because the inputs are all fine now. And that's because I've drastically increased the amount of glass I'm producing. Where is it? It's 
Oh, right, down here. Um, by putting in a second, I put in a second sort of thing of this. So there's both sides of it now. And they're all, and all of these glass producing machines are full of, have got the um, productivity and speed modules in to just keep them, keep them up, producing more and producing more with less resources as well, which is quite important. So by the end of this belt, we've got an entire full red belt coming out of here. And that's streaming out. I've upgraded, I think by now, I imagine I've upgraded the belt all the way along. Um, yeah, it looks like it's all been done. And so now there's, even with the, uh, the amounts being used by the low density structure production here, there's a lot of these machines, but that, but that means they can produce the low density structures at a, bit, a slightly better rate, even with the productivity modules in them. So yeah, these are trickling out, but as you can see from this this side, we've got more than we've, we're using now, so that has that is caught up, so that's, that's nice. Um, and those are mostly being used for the um, scaffold up here. And the glass is probably also being used, yeah, the glass is still being used steadily here for these substrates, but that's okay, I and mean, it's um, it's expected, it's known, they, they are, we, we do need quite a lot of them. Actually, although that said, last time I looked up here on, um, uh, on, on the space station, I was, I did have enough um, memory cards. Actually, that's that's dropped off again. <laughs> okay, this was full all the way back to back to here and part part of the way up the um, up this thing. And to the extent that this machine has stopped making them, but now as I started using them for green science as well, it, they're getting eaten up again fairly quickly. But um, never mind. That sort of shows that we're sort of just about maybe kind of producing enough. <laughs> and when I feed some of the um, the red one, the, the used ones back up here to be reformatted, that'll help a little bit as well. Right, so that's my um, current state of science going on here. I need to, there's a little bit of finishing off up here, so I'll do that and I'll show you again once I've got it running. Back in a mo. Right, I think we're nearly there. As you can see, I'm building up the, um, the flags out here now that are going to take the um, big banks of computers that are going to create my biological analytics and um, the, the, the orange one, energy analytics I think. Um, biological science is being built nicely here, you can see the catalogues coming along here. Um, not filled the belt up yet but it's, it's, it's working at least so that's going quite well. Um, one of these is noticeably slower than the others, it's, this one in particular seems to be my limiting factor at the moment so I've put a second machine in here to hopefully speed that up a bit. Next time I go back to Norvis I think I might come back with some of the big speed modules and some of the big efficiency modules and shove a load of those into quite a lot of my science machines up here actually because I think having the balance between them is going to save me putting in extra machines and it's going to actually save me power overall which is a bit feels a bit weird but um, yeah it should, should should work but yeah those are trickling along here getting grabbed up by the, uh, into the computers and we're making science now so the next thing is going to be to run the belt up here like like this Go under. And run that up here. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's finding the gaps that have been left in the um, in in the uh, the thing. So I'll I'll come back for that. I've also extended up the number of these growth facilities here. These are the things that are actually growing the um, the biomass out of the making taking in green goo and producing. I'm not sure what these things are supposed to be. They look like bits of plant or possibly animal. I'm not. I'm really not sure in a jar. But whatever it is, it's getting used quite a lot by the uh, by the research down here, and we are producing it almost quickly enough. So this is another candidate for some speed modules, I think, because part of it is getting passed up this way. Oh, and that's backing up as well, which is pretty nice. And now, because I've used up all of the wood I brought up here. I'm now using that here to turn into a, um, the bio sludge, and this isn't this whole whole loop is a net positive one. Fortunately, we're growing growing the uh, stuff up, so we're getting out more than we're putting in, which means I can tap off the excess for for research. If it wasn't for that, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> um, but that interestingly also produces a certain amount of um, contaminated scrap, which is then going down here, being fed into these machines and and, and, and dealt with as I as I discussed a few minutes ago. I have also put in the tank down here for the um, cosmic water. That's set to be for the pump to run if this is ever below 10,000. So that's basically pinned at 10,000. And that gives some buffer space for the recycling machines to push out a bit of the, the cosmic water if they need to. But there's always enough in there for everything to keep itself fueled. 
I've also got a bit fed up of asteroids, uh, sorry, meteorites hitting my um, space base. You can see how many of them are just littering the... I was going to say littering the ground over here. That's not quite accurate given that there isn't any ground out here. This is supposedly space. So I've set up some um, meteor defense installations here. Now these are rather power hungry. They are now the... Um, uh, they're the red line. So they're the third most power hungry thing in in my... No? It says red. Oh, they must be exactly on top. The, the, yes, they, the, those two are using exactly the same amount, so they're on top of each other. Um, so they're joint third most power, power hungry things in my base. I can't put um, productivity, no, efficiency modules into them, unfortunately. They, they, they don't take modules. And when they're charging, having fired, you get this massive spike as they recharge themselves. So that's they're, they're, they're kind of hungry. But this will take out, this will stop my uh, base being pummeled by meteorites. And this has got, this, this has now got, well, there are probably asteroids up here because I'm in space. This has now got to the size where I'm sort of, I'm worried about it getting hit by things. There's enough stuff and there's enough sort of expensive stuff, stuff that's difficult to um, replace, that I want to try and keep it safe. Still gaps there. Uh, but yeah, I think that's now a good place to, uh, a good amount a good amount of progress since the last episode. All of this is, is um, basically well, basically new, not not all new, but all up and running now. Um, and some of these some of these machines are kind of complicated to build. These things, for example, require a hundred lamps to, for them to, to be made. Which lamps aren't difficult to build. It's just the sheer quantity of stuff that goes into them. These ones, as I discussed, require the pink goo to be made. So, as I was sort of building this out, I had to leave gaps for these until I got to this until I got this stage and all of this built all of this built up and was able to make some of the pink goo in order to make the Christmas trees in order to process it. Um, and yeah, I think this is all running pretty well now. I'm, um, I'm generally happy with this. And I, I'm trying not to think about these, uh, these underground belts and underground pipes here because underground and just through this doesn't really make sense in this context, but oh well, never mind. I'm, um, I'm carefully ignoring that and pretending it's and pretending it pretending it makes any sort of sense at all. Maybe at some point later I'll fill these gaps in, but to be honest, I, I don't see any real need to because it's it's working as it is. I'll probably end up filling some of it in when I need whatever bits and pieces down here for the energy science, just to, just to fill in, just to carry the belts along. Uh, but at the moment it's it's all okay. And of course I've got in the belts here to take away the um, the used memory cards that need to be reformatted. And how's memory card production going? Oh, we've run out of the the uh, substrate now, so I'm, I'm having to make it from raw materials again, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it, yeah, we're, we're getting through a lot of memory cards, it seems. But there's enough of a buffer here that it can carry on running quite happily. Um, we're just not recycling them quite as fast as we're using them. But that's sadly is to be expected, given that um, they do get they do get gradually used up, because some of the ones that come back here for reformatting. I'd get... is it this one reformatting? Yes, it is. Uh, get junked because they haven't reformatted properly. I've added in another couple of machines here to do that as well because it was getting... Um, it wasn't keeping up, but now it seems like I've gone to the other extreme. But that's fine. I don't mind I don't mind it being excessive like that. Um, and I added in a little bit more solar, panel, solar power up here to compensate for these things, which are on their little own little island here. I feel, it feels odd having them on a sort of completely separate thing. I feel like it should drift away or something, but maybe it's anchored by that um, power cable going across there. Who knows? So yes, that's been um, that's biological science. It's obviously not not quite finished yet because I need to get the the processing up here done, and then the um, making the significant data done, and then have another machine like this to make the actual um, science packs themselves. But it's a good a good step in the right direction. Uh, it's going yeah, it's going well. I did a bit of research, so it swallowed up a load of this purple science, and it's just yeah, so it's only up going up to here. Um, yeah. Good. So I think that's about everything I have to say for, for once. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying the uh, the series. And um, yeah, it's, it looks like my, my channel seems to be doing pretty well. So I'm guessing at least some of you are enjoying it. And uh, so as always, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time.